Hey YouTube, not going to play for y'all today, I'm taking a day off between very busy playing time and very busy playing time. Lots of that right before this and coming after it. I'm just not going to play and it's going to be just fine. I thought I would make at least a few videos about small, well maybe not small, but uh, non-actual trombone purchases that have been extremely useful to me. So just kind of accessories that have paid for themselves in utility. Not necessarily that I use them all the time, but that they come in clutch at just the right time. I've got two for you today. One, two. <laughs> um, the first one is my Cronkite double bass trombone gig bag. Yes, this fits two bass trombones. And you might be thinking, that's not the most useful thing on the planet. However, if something fits a bass trombone, it usually also fits a tenor trombone in about the same space. So I use this as my double bass tenor gig bag. Um, yeah, there's different sizes of these gig bags. There's the double tenor gig bag. You probably use that for small tenor, big tenor. There's a double tenor bass bag, large tenor bass. And for some reason, I don't know why this exists, but the double bass bag, I would probably recommend the double tenor bass bag but those seem to be even rarer for some reason. I've seen at least like three of these in the wild. Anyway, I happen to have one of these. It fits two bases. I sometimes do that for storage, um, but right now I use it all the time for bass trombone and tenor trombone. And there's something just so useful about keeping two instruments in the same compact space. No, this is not a small case. It's the largest case of any of the ones that I have right now, for instance, but it is a lot smaller than having two separate cases that you have to hang off of your body at the same time and take up a bunch of space in the car or at the gig, you just have like stuff piled everywhere. This is a lot more compact than that. Plus when you're not using it, and I don't use it all the time, not constantly doubling on two instruments in the same day, it makes up a lot of storage space. Right now I have an extra bell sitting in here and two slides because it has a double slide pocket. So just a ton of storage that's relatively safe um, for things that otherwise would just be sitting out or taking up way more room in hard cases or etc. So really good buy here. I got mine for kind of weirdly cheap because I usually do, but I would definitely spend a lot of money on one of these five, 600 bucks, because the only competition there is in this space is the Marcus Bana double, um, double tenor base case, which is a hard case. It's about the same size as this, maybe a tiny bit bigger because it's a hard case and weighs probably twice as much. It is so heavy, especially with two instruments inside. This is not light by any means, especially two instruments, but it's much, much lighter. Um, and can be easily worn on one shoulder. Like if you have a backpack already on your back, um, you can easily put this on one shoulder and if you're walking like a couple blocks, it's not going to totally destroy you like the Marcus Bono will. Slash make your gas mileage worse because the Marcus Bono is that heavy. It's like 40 pounds, it's so heavy. So if you end up doubling a healthy amount um, like I tend to do, I think a double bag is super useful. I'm not going to fly with this. Um, if I ended up flying, I would take probably screw belt instruments, honestly. And if it happened all the time and I didn't have those, I would get the Marcus Bonna case. But otherwise, the bag is way more useful, cheaper, lighter, easier to deal with. Um, the next thing up today and I have more things, of course, but we're just gonna do two, is this Instrument Innovations mouthpiece shank, uh, what does it say? Repair kit, there we go. It's really hard to read backwards on the phone. Um, and of course, this just has the typical mouthpiece shank truing tool. You can get these anywhere. They're like 25 bucks or whatever. But this comes with collars, brass collars that fit every size of shank, all the way from well, I have like medium shank, so like euphonium shank, flugelhorn, French horn, cornet, trumpet, uh, small shank, tenor trombone. Uh, oh yeah, that's large shank, 
tenor trombone, bass trombone, um, small tuba, and large tuba. I have basically everything you could need. There's some things that are not covered. Mellophone shank, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's usually the same as cornets. So, I mean, anything you'd ever need, basically, plus the tool, plus a really nice, useful, light Delrin hammer. And I've used the absolute crap out of this hammer on a bunch of different things. I didn't want to buy a separate hammer, so I use this all the time. And I've used this actual kit over a dozen times, saving over a dozen mouthpieces, some of which are mine, um, but I've also saved a bunch of friends' mouthpieces that they've dropped or they bought, damaged or whatever. So super useful. It's not like I use it every single day. I'm not just constantly saving mouthpieces, but when I need to, I don't have to take it to a tech. Um, I don't have to get one of those tools and just hope for the best. I have this really nice set, it costs like 50 something bucks. It comes with a hammer that I do use all the time. Um, so if you have any kind of inkling of doing just like the lowest level repair stuff, get one of these kits. Um, I'll have a link for this one in the description. Um, it's not like I'm affiliated, but I have a bunch of their stuff. I have two of their valves. Yes, just two right now. Um, and a bunch of other bits and bobs and stuff. Really good people and really useful tools. Um, that's all I've got for now. And I'll see you all in the next video where I will probably play combo. Bye-bye.